Hi everyone, myself Sanat. I am a design engineer. Welcome to my channel Mechanical World. In this channel, I will be not only explaining you about various models in different softwares, but also I will be uploading videos related to uh, topics of mechanical engineering. So these topics will help you to understand some of the subjects in this discipline. So please don't forget to click on the subscribe button below this video so that you will get notified of every video that I upload in this channel. Thank you. Today in this video I will be explaining you how to create a model by the name Boomerang. This is the top view of that model and its asymmetric view and these are all its section view of it. As you can see this is the section BB and its section view is here and the future of this one is shown in asymmetric view. Similarly, here is the section CC and its view and the future is here. And uh, one more thing is this is the section AA and its view and the future in asymmetric view. So, I will be creating this model in a CATIA V5 R19 software and in a part design workbench. So let us go to the part design workbench by choosing start mechanical design part design. And I'm going to name this part as boomerang. Click OK. Now as you have to draw the sketch in order to create the model, I will be choosing this top view profile. So let us start with this. And I am going to draw this sketch on XY plane by choosing position sketch command from sketch toolbar. This command will help you to orient the view on that plane to draw a sketch by changing horizontal and vertical references to the desired direction. Uh, here first I will be drawing this circle profile which is of a radius 37.5. So I am going to choose circle command from profile toolbar and um, I have to define two points to draw the circle. I will constrain now by choosing constraint command from constraint toolbar double click on the dimension to change its value and uh, it is of radius 37.5 click ok now I will be creating now this circle which is of diameter 50.8 and the distance of this center from here is of 681 and uh, the center of the circle is exactly collinear with this circle center. So I am going to create one more circle which is collinear to the left circle and uh, the diameter of this one is 50.8 click ok and the distance of uh, this point to here is of uh, 681 millimeter click OK. Now I am going to create these two edges of this circle and these edges are tangent to the circle. So for that I am going to choose a line command from profile toolbar. I am going to draw a line. Again choose a line command. And you have to be very careful about this uh, instantaneous line as you can see the blue line and that is the line which is going to get constrained automatically to the nearby elements. So if I click here then this line got constrained with this circle tangentially without constraining manually. If you want to avoid that one all you have to do is just uh, Hold on the shift button so there will be no instantaneous line you can see. Now see there is no instantaneous line. So here also there are two edges which are tangent to the circle. So I am going to 
double click on this line command as I have to use more than once okay this got constrained automatically because of instantaneous line and it will also constrained automatically now these two edges are at an angle of 5 degree as shown here and uh, okay constrain that one and these two elements are of 5 degree click ok and also these two edges are also 5 degree these two element double click and change the value to 5 degree ok now I am going to draw this uh, center line and uh, this line is exactly at an angle of 20 degree from this horizontal line so I am going to choose uh, double click on this axis I am going to draw a line one, one here and uh, one more for this and you have to be very careful about the instantaneous line as I don't need to constrain that one with different constraints okay now I'm going to give this constraining angle as 20 degree for this also same okay, click again this element and horizontal line double click change the value to a 20 degree now okay now uh, I'm going to do I'm going to constrain these two element and I'm going to make symmetry by clicking on right click and choosing all our symmetry line I'm going to make a symmetry with this center line so it will be exactly center to that center line I'll be making for this also same thing right click allow symmetry line and this center line okay now what I'm going to do is as I don't need inside circle now I just need this line and the outside circle and also this line with outside circle and here also same thing for that what I will do I'm going to choose a trim command from operation toolbar I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to select the element which I need this line and outside circle that is what I needed and uh, this line and outside circle the inside circle gets that is half of that circle gets trimmed automatically here also select this element and this outside circle and uh, this element with this outside circle so that inside that is half of the circle gets trimmed off automatically now what I will do is I am going to use that trim and extend command again and I am going to click on this element and uh, this element so that it will get extended and and intersect and trim off automatically again same thing for this one and this one ok as you can see uh, I will just move this dimension outside so the profile gets clear view just click on the dimension and drag it to wherever you want to place and this radius also here ok this is what the profile that I made now now I am going to come out of this workbench by choosing exit workbench command from a ex workbench toolbar. Now what is left is I had to extrude this profile. Uh, when it comes to a extrusion length uh, in this view they have given as a 50.8 this is as in this is the section of this BB and it is at a height of 50.8 
so I am going to extrude this profile by choosing the pad command from sketch based feature toolbar just click on ok now just select this profile as it is asking here select the profile and uh, choose a mirror extent and the length is okay 50.8 here but uh, as I choose mirror extent I have to give half of that one that is 50.8 by 2 preview it is 25.4 the length that I have given click OK and if you want to know exact height just choose the measure command from measure toolbar select this plane and uh, this plane you can confirm the height that is 50.8 here that's it now now next thing is um, I am going to just give me a minute okay here uh, the thing is that as you can see the asymmetric view this portion is of height 50.8 not these portions from here to here these portions is having a height of uh, they are given in this section cc that is 23.4 you can look carefully about that height this 23.4 is what uh, height of this feature so what I will do is I have to remove some material from here from this point to here okay for that what I will do I am going to create a point exactly center of this circular feature by choosing circle as a point tab and select the circular edge of that automatically the center point will be created here for the circular feature click ok and the point command is located in reference element toolbar I am going to just drag this toolbar so that my view of the model will be clearly visible ok now now what I will do is I am going to create a plane here exactly at this point and that plane has to be at an angle of 20 degree why I made a plane of angle of 20 degree I will tell you now for that what I will do I am going to choose a plane option from reference element toolbar and uh, angle normal to plane as a type and it is asking for rotation axis I am going to choose z axis here this is a z axis okay. I am going to right click and choose z axis as I want to create an angle plane which is about to rotate z to z axis and the reference I am going to choose uh, that is y z plane as a reference and the angle is 20 degree preview as you can see the green plane here if you were not visible just uh, I am going to hide the model I can see okay here is the angle plane of 20 degree I don't want the plane in that angle I want in, uh, in the other direction so I am going to make it as minus 20 degree click OK now I am going to unhide the body now what I will do is I am going to create a one more plane and I am going to choose here option as a parallel through point and uh, when it comes to reference I am going to choose the plane that I have created just now that is of 20 degree angle and uh, when it comes to a point I am going to select this point so that that planes exactly copy of that plane to be created at this point click ok now see now I have created the plane at an angle of 100 degrees so that this plane will be exactly centered to this feature to this edge and to this circle it is of exactly center as I have created you can see here exactly coinciding with this axis I created the plane why I will tell you now on this plane I am going to draw a sketch by choosing the 
position sketch command click ok and the sketch that I am going to make is for removing the material as I said you some part of this material has to be removed ok and uh, here as you can see this is what I am trying to do this feature is of height 50.8 not the whole feature and uh, the distance of from this point to here is 63 I have to leave only uh, of this material up to this edge and I have to remove all other things to a depth of um, that is I just needed only this 23.4 as a material has to be removed now uh, as you can see here from this center axis of a hole to this edge it is of length 63 uh, they have given in this top view ok leaving the material up to this that is from here to here up to this I have to remove the material further and uh, the height that I have to maintain the material is of 23.4 so what I will do now is I'm going to constrain this edge from this axis that is of uh, 63 millimeter and uh, I'm going to do sorry I'm going to create one more rectangle here. and uh, I'm going to constrain these two edge of that rectangle profile and I'm going to make it a symmetry with respect to this horizontal line and the uh, material that have to leave here is of uh, 23.4 23.4 three click ok now ok this is it there is no need of constraining other thing and you have to be very careful that these edges has to be outside the model so the material removal takes place throughout just come out of the workbench and uh, choose pocket command from a sketch based feature toolbar select the profile and give a depth as 300 or more than that so that complete removal of a material takes place here this is what I am trying to do ok click ok now this is it if you click the isometric view from this view toolbar you can see it is matching with this isometric view to a some portion now I am going to create a hole here and uh, you can see here this hole is of a contour bore hole and it is ok I am going to create a point now by choosing the point of a circle and I am going to select this circular edge I have to select only a circle, not a plane. Okay, exactly center of that. The point is created, and the hole has to be made there. Just choose a hole command from the sketch based feature toolbar. Select the point as the center of a hole, and then plane on which the hole has to be made. And the type of the hole is contour bore, and diameter of that contour bore is 42. As you can see, yellow, yellow line here that is what the diameter that is the representation is it is of uh, diameter 24 when it comes to a depth it is 6.35 
for sorry the diameter is 42 diameter is 42 and depth is 6.35 6.35 and when it comes to a remaining thing that is the hole this hole it is of 25.4 diameter diameter is 25.4 and uh, depth when it comes to depth I will just choose up to next so the throat hole is created just click ok now I got only one side contour board here it is contour board on both side what I will do is I am just going to mirror this hole or you can create a one more hole at the bottom of this one just choose a mirror command which is in uh, transformation toolbar just select the hole and uh, when it comes to a plane about which the hole has to be mirrored select this mid plane then click ok exactly the contour board is mirrored on either side of the plane now this is over now let us go with this whole feature here it is of diameter 25.4 okay yeah this is what i'm talking about now any of this point that is already created just choose the whole command point on plane and uh, type it is a simple hole and uh, length i have to make it throughout when it comes to diameter it is of 25.4 only click ok this is it now i am going to create this feature that is uh, pocket thing okay let us start that i am going to choose on this plane as i have to sketch that choose the position sketch command change the uh, horizontal and vertical direction as you need and here i am going to create a circle for radius 37.5 just choose the circle and I am going to constrain and this uh, element with respect to this edge and I click and I am going to make it as a coincidence so it is going to match with that circular feature now as you can see here this axis to this line is of a distance 116.8 so what I will do now is I am going to create an center line here and uh, one more line here as you can see, the instrument is line constrained these two lines parallelly, and I'm going to give a distance as 116.8. This element and this one, double click and give the value as 116.8. Click OK now. Now, uh, the edge of this one, this pocket feature, is that a uh, length of 10 mm from this extreme edge um, you can see the section u clearly it will tell you the dimension of that one here they are given as a 10 mm as this is the section u a here it is section u a that is from this edge to this edge is of a 10 mm that is what shown here and as it is a casted 
so the thickness remains same throughout that is 10 mm so i'm going to choose the offset command from uh, operation toolbar by just double clicking on that and i'm going to offset this edge to a 10 mm distance and from from this axis i am going to give sorry, from this line i am going to give as a 5 mm why because uh, see this line is exactly center of this uh, wall okay now i'm going to give it dimension as 5 mm and uh, for this one i'm going to give as uh, 10 mm and here also 10 mm now i'm going to trim the remaining thing i just need this element and the inside circle and this element and the upper the circle this element and this line these two inside line so the remaining thing get trimmed off automatically now come out to the workbench and uh, click on the pocket command from the sketch basic feature toolbar select the profile the reverse direction and choose up to next if I click ok this is it and I have to do a pocket for all these remaining features so let us start number one sketch Change uh, all the plan vertical references. Now, from this set, I'm going to offset and uh, give the value as 10 mm. And from here to here, from this set to inside thing, just kind of the dimension also. Double click on this and give 10 mm. Give also 10. And uh, from this send uh, from this x from this line to here is of 120.6. That means uh, I'm going to I'm had the sketch of previous pocket uh, so that I can get the axis of that one. Now it is not shown here. Okay, sorry, it will get headed out. Okay. Now, anyhow, uh, that is 120.6. I'm going to detect uh, 10 mm of this dimension. As from here to here is 5, and from here to here is 5. That is, you can take a offset of this line to here and the distance here is 120 120.6 minus 10 equal now choose a trim command select the elements which you need so that all the remaining elements will get trimmed off automatically Okay, now come out of the workbench, pocket command, reverse direction, okay, now it is pocketed. Next thing is here, this one, okay, select the plane draw the sketch change the horizontal and vertical as needed now from this also of 10 mm from this edge ok now
okay again same thing 103 minus 103.7 minus uh, 15 I have to make now because here a 10 and here I am I to get it from this value so offset just offset a line and then constrain this length double click on this 103.7 minus 15 okay that's it now again offset from this edge and from this edge dimension is 10 mm here also 10 mm now choose the trim command this element and this one just choose the element which you needed so the element will get trimmed off okay now come out of the workbench and choose the pocket command reverse direction okay now again select the plane to draw a sketch for another profile okay here also now the distance is 98.8 i'm going to offset from this edge as uh, 10 mm this edge 10 mm and this one also 10 mm from here I have to give dimensions just drag the dimension to where it is visible properly double click on that give the value 10 here also 10 and when it comes to uh, this length it is uh, 98.8 minus 10 I move from here final from here has to be detected 98.8 minus 10 enter or ok now just trim off the unnecessary elements this element and this this element and this one now come out of the workbench again choose the pocket fit command from the sketch based feature toolbar reverse direction click ok now that's it now when it comes to here as you can see this one it is filleted to a radius of 100 inside and outside it is of 200 so what i will do i am going to choose the edge fillet command from the sub feature the toolbox which you don't need just double click on that so that it will move back to its default position okay here edge fillet command choose the edges to fillet this inside one i have to fillet to 100 mm radius click ok and this outside one i have to fillet to radius of 200 that's it now now there is a one more pocket feature here and it is not throughout as you can see in the section view of uh, the cc here it is section view cc and the material has to be remained of 12.7 up to depth material has to be remained or even if it has to be removed off so now what I will do just select the plane and draw the sketch for a pocket feature again same thing double click on the offset command offset it and then just to again here this 
search and do search to here search and you can find this uh, okay now now what to do is give the value for that that is 10 mm. Also, 10 mm. Ten. And uh, this part also. Ten. And here also. Ten. Let's okay. double click on that. Make it ten. Then choose the trim command, then trim the mass the real element. And just select the element which you need and mass is real element. So the trim it off automatically. Okay, now come back to the workbench and choose the portrait command. And there is a four option. And when it comes to here, it is had to be a depth which we have to measure it now ok and here is 23.4 and uh, half of that one is 11.7 ok 23, half of that 23.4 uh, is 11.7 and uh, when it comes to here half of the 12.7 is 6.35 that is 11.7 minus uh, 6.35 okay 11.7 minus uh, 6.35 click ok this is it now you have to do the same thing on the side here is the trick for the here instead of making the sketch on other plane what I will do is I am going to choose the pocket command again and when it comes to sketch I am going to choose the sketch of the previous pocket that is uh, this top side pocket click on that one ok now you have to observe here carefully there are two limits ok limit 1 and limit 2 as you can see limit 1 is uh, this this plane bottom plane and limit two is uh, this top line. Okay, I hope you can see this one. Limit one and limit two. That is, this first limit is at depth of five point three five from this uh, top plane or from this limit two. What I will do is, I will move this limit first by choosing up to next, so that limit one will be exactly coinciding with this plane. Now what I will do is when it comes to a second limit as I have to move this limit to I will move in the reverse direction and uh, as I have a given uh, just a second how much that I have given for this pocket it is of 5.35 right Okay. Now, pocket, and I'm going to select the sketch of this top feature. Reverse direction. I'm going to make the first limit as up to next, so that limit one exactly coincides with the bottom plane. And when it comes to limit two, the thing is that uh, it has to move. Limit two has to be here exactly coinciding with this plane that is from it, it is here now I have to move it to here that is uh, okay uh, 5.35 is what from this edge to this one plus 12.7 that is uh, you can use the 
Picture work real with the new sketch. This is the trick that you have to remember. And when you try to measure the distance from this plane to this plane, it will be of 12.7 as in the drawing. This is 12.7. I hope you understood this. If you haven't, just uh, replay this video. That's all. Now I'm going to create uh, this feature and uh, this feature as we can see it is exactly at a center uh, if you want you can see the section CC that is here here it is uh, that feature is of uh, thickness 6.35 exactly center of this whole feature so when it comes to a profile it has to be like this Okay, now I'm going to choose uh, the plane which is exactly a center to this whole feature that is XY plane. Set up the position sketch, change the direction of horizontal and vertical according to a need. And now, here it is. Uh, you can see here it is having a radius of uh, 20 mm there's some this some circular feature which is of 20 mm and the center of this one is exactly collinear to the center of these two circle if you watch it carefully it is collinear so i'm going to draw the circle which is exactly collinear with these two center of a circle and the radius is of 20 okay uh, when it comes to a distance uh, from this left point to this one is of 317 that is from center of this left circle to this center is of uh, 317 okay now I am going to create these two edges and uh, these two edges are exactly 90 degree to each other as they are given the angle here and uh, this edge is of a 45 degree to the center line of this circle so I am going to create a, a center line now Double click on the land command as I have to use the command more than once. Okay. Okay, this is it. It got constrained automatically to 90 degree angle, but I have to make these two elements tangent to the circle. Okay. Now the angle from this element to the center of this one is. 45 degree okay now the center line is not constrained as it is moving freely what I will do I am going to constrain this line to the center of the circle and make it a coincidence so now it got constrained now I am going to use the project command from operation toolbar to take the projection of this edge, double click on that to use it more than once. Okay, this is it. Now I am going to use uh, trim command to trim the necessary thing. I just need only the inside element, this element, and this element, this one, and half of this circle, this element, and the half of the circle. Okay, this 
is the profile that I need edit which is exactly matching to this profile here now come out of the workbench and then we have to pad it and it comes to a thickness is of 6.35 okay and uh, as I have taken a mid plane then I am going to choose mirror extent it is 6.35 by 2 it has to be half as I use the mirror option okay for confirmation just check out this plane to this plane is of 6.35 millimeter half. that's it now okay if you see the asymmetric queue uh, the hole is created here on this feature and the hole is created on the cylindrical feature that is I have to create a cylindrical feature on this plane and uh, if you see the section view the cylindrical feature is having a thickness of 19.05 and uh, when it comes to a uh, diameter here it is shown as a 10 mm okay now I'm going to choose point point tap I'm going to select this edge exactly center of that one sorry so I could just block it as it is keep on changing to different options just block it and choose this circular edge okay now i need to draw the circular features so the circular profile and the circular profile is it has to be on the xy plane only mm, so sketch command on this xy plane i'm going to draw a circle profile and i'm going to change the horizontal and vertical direction as i need it now this thing has to be exactly at this point okay it is not getting snapped so what i will do is i am going to project the point that i created previously why just to get it snapped so that this point and this point can be constrained right click and make it constraints and when it comes to a radius of this circle is of a 10 mm click ok now come out of the workbench I have drawn the circle exactly the middle of this feature. Okay, now as the given dimension as a, okay the height as a 19.05. So I'm going to pad it just a second. Sorry. Now uh, whatever the I'm going to double click on this circular profile to edit the sketch as I've just projected the point right to, to get snapped what I will do I'm going to make that point as a construction element I just I have to make that point as a construction element so so that that point is used just as a reference Okay, I can select the point and make it construction. Come out of the work patch. No. Shit, it is not changing. Just give me a time. Okay, make it construction now. Come out of the work bench. Now it is changed. Okay. Uh, pad it. This feature. Uh, to a height of 19.05 so I'm going to choose mirror extent 19.05 by 2 half of that okay sorry now I have to create a hole on this cylindrical one and the hole is of diameter 12.7 as it is mentioned here so point I'm going to choose the circle as at the center of that circle the point got created now hole 
this point on this plane and uh, diameter is uh, is it 3.7 yes 12.7 click ok and after i am going to choose up to next as it has to be through hole that's it almost major of the model is completed now all we have to do is just uh, add the things that we have created like uh, points and planes you can choose the hide command from the view toolbar itself or right click and choose the hide and show option okay now double click on the desktop feature toolbar to move back to its previous location now here here at last they have given note as uh, the pocket radius has to be 6.35 millimeter and uh, an unspecified fillet radius has to be 2 millimeter wherever the pocket that we created there the radius has to be 6.35 millimeter okay now uh, i'm going to hide all these planes just hide it and uh, this plane and the point also i'm going to hide it okay now you can see the clear model of this boomerang now let us start with the edge filleting as they have said the pocket edge has to be filleted to a radius of 6.35 millimeter and wherever the pocket is uh, just filleted to a 6.35 millimeter i'm going to choose edge fillet option from the sub feature just double click on that as i need more than one time just select all the vertical edges first just remember one thing while making any edge fillet just always choose vertical edge first why i will tell you now okay this thing and uh, here this edge and uh, it is of radius 6.35 millimeter click ok now now uh, before giving edge fillet to this horizontal edge let us make a draft as drafting has to be made here as uh, you can see in the section AA here the pocket faces are drafted to an angle of 5 degrees So, I need to make a draft here. Just choose a draft command from the sub feature toolbar. It is asking for the faces to draft. And just select one face automatically. All the faces will be selected as the faces are tangential to each other. Okay. If you haven't made the vertical, if you haven't created the fillet for this vertical edge, then you have to choose each faces one by one. So for that purpose, I have created this uh, vertical fillet first. And now, mm, when it comes to neutral element, I am going to choose the mid plane of this whole model, that is X Y plane. Okay, as uh, you can see here it is drafted on both side not only one side it, by choosing this center plane as a neutral element now click on more here and uh, here you choose select this part in this called a neutral and draft both side and click ok so it will get drafted on uh, both side like this Now, do the edge fillet for this horizontal edge. As you can see, it, all the edges are filleting automatically, as the edges are also tangent to each other. And the radius is 6.35. Click OK. And the bottom also we have to give sorry. I think so you know how to zoom in or zoom out just uh, 
this is scroll button once and hold it and uh, right click button once and move the mouse up and down click ok now this is it like this I have to give that fillet for all this pocket feature I hope you can do that one and next thing is here it is not a pocketed feature as uh, they have given here unspecified fillet radius of 2 mm so let's fill it here this one is of uh, 2 mm and this one also okay and next is uh, here and uh, this one here okay here's the edges one more edge is remaining just to the fillet for this also okay sorry for that there is error so i just am going to undo these things first uh, what to do is first after giving the edge fillet of this one just click ok Oh sorry, it has took more radius. Let's give to a none and after that just choose this edge later on. So it will it is going to select completely up to this point. Click OK now. Now again this edge first and later on this bottom thing. Okay, I got some error here. Mm. If you made any mistake while doing any edge fillet or uh, anything else, you just go to view and choose this uh, shading with edges without smooth edges. If you see any edges here, then you made a error there but as i can see no edges then there is no problem with that okay i hope this is correct now let us move on to next thing here also there is a filleting thing that they are given given um, as you can see this in the top here here also they have made a fillet i'm going to give here as a two millimeter and this bottom also oh, sorry it is taken this one to one and here is of two millimeter to cook okay. now that's it okay and uh, when it comes to here for this contour bar hole they have made a chamfering Okay, as it is shown here, the chamfer to 1.5 into 45 degree. So select the chamfer command from the desk sub feature toolbar, select the edge, and here is of length 1.5 and angle 45 degree. Click OK. Now it is chamfered. Now, now what is remaining? I think so. There is a elongated hole feature here. Yes, it is. Okay, this one I have to make it now. Okay, I will make it. Uh, okay, just select this plane. Go to a sketch by choosing position sketch command. Okay, now I am going to draw the along cylindrical elongated hole by from my profile toolbar. Okay, now when it comes to uh, this one. Uh, have to define three points that is center for that uh, circular profile and uh, one point of uh, circle and another point of uh, another circle now this is it okay just 
drag it and move it as required and then you have to constrain it here okay here uh, the angle between these two line that is uh, you can see it carefully from this point uh, which is meeting the center of uh, this feature the voice is same thing and the angle between these two is 35 degree okay and uh, what I can do I'm just going to introduce here okay they have been reduced like 100 degree it's going to be set uh, degree it is one more so the radius of this center line is also 120 millimeter look at it and uh, it has went too far what will be and the uh, angle between these two is of 35 degree okay this I'm going to create a point this I'm going to click outside and I'm going to constrain this point with this circle feature right click and make it constant to city so that that point exactly matches to the center of that whole feature now I'm going to create a two line make this line as a reference ok like that and uh, one more center line ok now I have to constrain I'm just going to draw this outside just double click on the constraint command I'm going to constrain this point to this line and make it coincident and again for this line to the center point right click coincidence and uh, as I give an angle here the center line to this right line is a 15 degree angle so from this center to the right reference line is also Degree. Double click and make it to 15. Okay, just uh, double click on this toolbar as it is covering my model. Okay, now again see this uh, constraint command uh, from this the angle between these two reference lines of 35 degree. It is these two reference are also. Again, okay. Now I have to make this line vertical, that is, it has to be vertically constrained. Okay, I have made that vertical, and both the lines are constrained properly. Now, what else is remaining? Why it is still not constrained? This radius I have to give it as 6. Okay, the radius of this circle is a second. That we have already created automatically, and I need to change the value to a six. No. Okay, why it is not still constrained? Because the center of this arc is not constrained. That means I have to make the center of this arc constrained with the center of this feature, and I'm going to make it a coincidence. Now this is it. Here it is. Completely constrained. Okay. I hope you understood this. Okay, come out of that workbench and uh, create a pocket for your profile. Oh, some of the profiles are open. That means. 
terminator where does the file is open it okay here the point that i created i have to make this point as a construction element by using the construction command from a sketch tools toolbar okay so now come to the workbench and now pocket this terminator animated hole and the pocket has to be grey out right if you want the pocket position go to the yes it is here it is grey out as there is no happening in there click ok ok now almost the model is complete there are some plenty things left to be given i hope you understood those points with uh, the feature that i have explained here okay i hope you understood the today's model thank you very much for watching this video